One of the big discoveries making headlines recently is that Beetlejuice, the star you may know of as the one everyone thought was about to go supernova a few years ago, is not a single star. A recent image came out claiming the detection of a second star in the system, something that would explain some periodic cycles in the brightness of Beetlejuice. If this star is real, there are quite a few interesting things about it, and it means some interesting things about the system in general. So is this binary of Beetlejuice actually real? If it is, then what is it like? What does it mean for the Beetlejuice system as a whole? Does it have a chance to have planets, and because this is the only reason anyone ever talks about this system, what's going to happen to it when Beetlejuice goes supernova? So far, this candidate star has been designated Beetlejuice B, assuming it does actually exist. In this case, Beetlejuice, the red supergiant, is now called Beetlejuice A. However, to keep it interesting, I'm going to refer to this new candidate star as Sawara, a nickname proposed by the authors of the paper that discovered the candidate. Beetlejuice's name is derived from an Arabic phrase meaning Hand of the Giant, and Eljuice is a feminine name associated with both Beetlejuice and the Orion constellation. Sawara roughly translates to her bracelet, which I think is a very fitting name for a star orbiting the Hand of the Giant. However, do keep in mind that while I'll be using the name Sawara for this video, the name is not currently officially recognized, and if this object is confirmed to be real, its official name, at least for now, would be Beetlejuice B. The most important thing to note right now is that the existence of Sawara is unconfirmed. The paper only claims a 1.5 sigma detection of the star, which is usually not enough to confirm a discovery. However, despite the low confidence, the authors believe that the signal is real for two reasons. One is because the excess brightness around Beetlejuice, which would be explained by a star, is exactly where we would expect it to be if Beetlejuice's secondary cycles were caused by a second star. The signal was also observed in 2024, where the star's predicted orbit would be at its furthest separation from Beetlejuice A as seen from Earth, making it the easiest to detect. And more interestingly, the star should not have been visible in 2020 for the same reason, its orbit would cause it to be obscured by Beetlejuice A from Earth. And similar observations from 2020 did not detect any sign of Sawara, which counterintuitively is exactly what we would expect if it was real. So the signal that could be a star matches the data exactly where we would expect a star to be. Though this is still unconfirmed, this could all just be one massive coincidence. Even the authors of the paper themselves only call the existence of Sawara probable, and say that the evidence would not be convincing if it weren't for the 2024 observations. So, if there's anything you take out of this video, just be aware that the existence of a companion star around Beetlejuice is not yet confirmed, despite what you may have already heard. Essentially, this is a bunch of not really convincing pieces of evidence that, when all combined, make the existence of Sawara seem pretty confident, even though each individual piece of evidence isn't very strong. So, assuming Sawara is real, then what type of star is it? Based on how much Beetlejuice is affected by it, the most likely option is that Sawara is a very young A or B type star about 1.6 times the mass of the Sun. It has an orbit around Beetlejuice A taking about 6 years to complete, and faces us edge on. This puts it at a distance of about 4 AU away from the surface of Beetlejuice A, closer to it than the orbit of Jupiter. This star is extremely young because Beetlejuice is extremely young. Because the star is reaching the end of its life and is going to go supernova in the next 100,000 years, you might assume it's fairly old. However, larger stars not only burn their fuel faster, but use less of it, shortening their lifespans. This means that Beetlejuice is only around 10 million years old. For comparison, some things that are older than Beetlejuice include dinosaurs, the extinction of the dinosaurs, bears, deer, giraffes, and some species of great apes that would eventually become humans. Unfortunately, this means planets existing in the system are unlikely, though that's only one reason. Planets usually need a longer time than this to finish forming, so it's unlikely that Beetlejuice A or Sawara have any completed planets. And because Beetlejuice expanded so young and burned so brightly, it's also a strong possibility that any material that could have become planets was blown away by Beetlejuice A's intense radiation and ejected from the system. So I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't a single planet anywhere in the system. This also means that if Sawara exists, it's so young that it's not even on the main sequence stage of its life yet, and still hasn't settled down from its formation for long enough to start doing hydrogen fusion in its core. This would make it a pre-main sequence star, and unfortunately for Sawara, it will likely never become a main sequence star anyway. This is because if Sawara does exist, it's currently spiraling inward toward Betelgeuse. It's close enough to the star to be inside its outer extended atmosphere, which causes significant orbital drag. All in all, if it is real, Sawara will spiral inward and be consumed by Betelgeuse in the next 10,000 years, which is an extremely short time period in astronomical terms. Though there is always the chance Betelgeuse goes supernova by then, so let's talk about what's probably the only reason you even know enough about Betelgeuse to click on this video. 
Beetlejuice is predicted to go supernova in the next 100,000 years. To be clear, the idea that it's going to go supernova in our lifetime is exceeding unlikely, though as far as I can tell, not entirely ruled out. There was a paper that came out a few years ago that said Beetlejuice only had a few decades left, but they used some faulty measurements that made their conclusions very unlikely. This also means it's unlikely that Beetlejuice has already gone supernova and we're just waiting for the light to reach us. Beetlejuice's exact distance from Earth is not known, but it's between 400 and 650 or so light years away. This means we're only seeing Beetlejuice as it was a few centuries ago, not millions of years ago like some people like to say. Assuming that Beetlejuice could go supernova at any time in the next 100,000 years, which is inaccurate but just bear with me here, then the difference of a few centuries is less than 1% of that time, so I think it's very likely that Beetlejuice is still alive to this day, and will be for a pretty long time. But anyways, what will happen to Sawara if Beetlejuice does go supernova before it's consumed? For this scenario to happen, Sawara has to exist, first off, and Beetlejuice also has to explode in the next 10,000 years. Well, despite what you may think, it seems pretty likely that Sawara would survive such an explosion. Not unharmed, but it also depends on how close it is to Beetlejuice, but it's very unlikely that the entire star would be destroyed. It's important to know here that supernovae take several months to actually happen. Beetlejuice is just so big that when fusion in its core stops, its outer layers will take several weeks to actually fall toward the star and initiate the supernova, and even after that, the resulting blast will probably take several minutes to several hours to even reach Sawara, depending on how far away it is from the star when the supernova happens. If it does, then Sawara will become a runaway star, blasted into the galaxy at insane speeds from its supernova. Interestingly, supernovae also sometimes result in a runaway neutron star or black hole, because supernovae aren't always symmetrical. So if we're lucky, the Beetlejuice supernova could result in two incredibly fast-moving stars, Sawara and the neutron star the remains of Beetlejuice A. So if Sawara does turn out to actually be real, then this is a pretty interesting discovery. This star is pretty much doomed no matter what happens. If Beetlejuice takes a while to explode, it'll be consumed and destroyed. If it doesn't, it'll be blasted away at ludicrous speeds. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have any planets, and it's not even going to reach the main sequence phase of its life before everything falls into chaos. Though if Sawara is real, it's also pretty important for the study of the Beetlejuice system as a whole. Because Beetlejuice was thought to be a single star, we don't have an accurate way of determining its mass, which right now is anywhere from 14 to 19 times more massive than the Sun. By studying Sawara's orbit, we could gain a much more accurate understanding of Beetlejuice's true mass. This is also helpful for astrometry, which could allow us to pinpoint Beetlejuice's exact distance as well. But until then, this is all we know about Beetlejuice's new potential companion star. Hopefully Sawara can be confirmed to be real soon, so we can learn more about it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about planets and space exploration.